Raptors can get that 42 points, they may be able to pull off the upset. Georgia State won the toss. They have elected to receive, and we're already underway here today from Atlanta. The return up across the 30-yard line and good starting field position here as Terrence Dixon gets it across up to the 33. You can't question the decisions he made thus far. Has a record-setting season ahead of him for the shot to clear. First play is a handoff to Reese White, who goes all the way down the far sideline to get the first down into Georgia State territory at the 49-yard line. Outside, good job of finding the vision in the hole outside, securing the football for a big gain on first down to the tight end, likely in the slot. Or they're gonna, yep, they got it. Here it is, McCall stepping up, going deep, has him in, and the catch is made for the touchdown to Javon Hiley. How about that? Coastal Carolina strikes first. A wheel route between Likely and Hiley on the left side, right side of your screen, and easily got behind. Second and five. Oh, big run here for Jones. Bursting up the middle for the first to the Georgia State 48-yard line. Third down. McCall. And the pass is tipped and incomplete. It went off the hands of Likely, who's his intended target. It's going to be fourth down and four. Second down. Brad and pressure, and he's going to be sacked. Just like that, Teron Jackson. Half sacks in the season for him. Yep, unblocked. Easiest sack he's going to get for the season, but he was in the right place. He's got Marable and Reese White in the backfield now. It's option, it's nice. Marable. He's got White blocking in front, and it's a first down run. Awesome play call there for 14 yards. White. And he's going to be dropped in the backfield as Trajan Stevens McQueen that came in there for Georgia State. Play fake to White. McCall now has a man on the outside. Catches made. Latushko. And he is upended in a big way there in the tackle by Antavius Lane. But it's a first down and more. Oh, but Latushko, they call him Mr. Third down, but finds a soft spot but finish off the run, willing to give up his body and almost lands on his feet. That one went for 28. Another play fake. And to the end zone, Marable, he's got it. Touchdown, Coastal Carolina. I mean, watch, he starts out in the backfield, but sets it up, puts the speed on. That's a mismatch for Jordan Strong trying to cover him in open field like, so then they sealed it, but he was outside the five yard line, so it goes out to where he actually possessed the football. This is blew it. Put you where you possess the ball. That was Coates on the run for Georgia State. Now they swing around to the outside. The ball is loose. It's a fumble, and it's picked up by Coastal Carolina. They're going to say he was down or no. And trying to get Pinkney involved. He's their go-to wide receiver. It just goes down awkwardly and a great job of pulling the football down. I believe that was Makonzo, Enoch Makonzo, number 43, as he's going to the ground. Shamari Jones in the backfield. And it's a handoff here to Mobley. It'll call out a pass, and Tyson Mobley, and that's one that you love for a quarterback as it goes down as a reception, and Mobley has a first down. Play call there, because if they tackle you behind the line of scrimmage, it's a loss, a pretty big loss, but they were willing to say. Another fake, back to the option, Reese White. White, touchdown! Shots of clears, heads up. Great job of holding the ball to the last minute by McCall, and look at the speed by White to get to the outside and then allow the big bodies to take over and block. They were fortunate to pick up that yard. First down, Brown gets hit as he throws, and it's intercepted. It is picked off by Shaheem Watkins. For making Silas Kelly. Kelly on the interception. Get it back for the shot to clears. And it was the pressure by Taron Jackson, whose name we've called several times, with the hit, forces the inaccurate throw. And Silas Kelly, one of the mullet brothers, comes up with the interception. Great hands. They're able to keep their normal personnel out there. Now they're going to flank out likely. Pay attention. Don't give him a one-on-one -on -one matchup. 
McCall looking in that direction. Now he goes back to the left side and has a man open, and that is Sam Denmark for the catch and a first down to the 10-yard line. So watch this. Once he gets right behind the cornerback, find the soft spot, settle. Nice execution. Who had a 72-yard touchdown reception in the first quarter of their game last week in the win over Georgia Southern. McCall to the end zone, Easy. caught, touchdown, Javon Hiley, his second today. Struggle, this is just, you're giving a free release to a slot receiver with no inside help. He runs a slant route. A touchdown catch this season from two yards out. Do they go to him again? Nope, it's Marable, and he is going to be dropped for a loss. Good job, Dante Wilson. Run the ball with Marable on the perimeter. McCall, it's a keeper, spins his way to the goal line, he's in, touchdown, Coastal Carolina. The initial hole was not there, but great recognition by McCall, turning sideways before Stevens McQueen could recognize he changed directions and able to just get... Got to be careful here, too, for Georgia State, and Brown's going to be sacked. And it's been that kind of a first half. That was the number Panthers. zero. Reese White is in the backfield now. He gets the call on first down. White goes up the middle and almost gets a touchdown. Tackle down finally at the two-yard line. Football distribution and trying to give White an opportunity to add another touchdown to his resume. Second down and goal. It's Marable on the carry, and he walks in for the touchdown. That's almost irrelevant. You knew they were going to score. They come out the locker room. They get the football. They're up 34 nothing. Couple turnovers. Bunch of punts. Coates again. Finally a big run for him, and he's tripped up. So he gets to the 40-yard line, and it could have been more thanks to Alex Spillum. This O-line together. Let's find a way to run the football. I don't care how many guys are in the box. Tucker Gregg now. He's taken down for a loss, and that was Enoch McConzo. They got to make some plays for this linebacker core for Georgia State because heavy doses of run are coming. Play fake. And the pass to the outside is hauled in by Cameron Brown. What a catch. He's in inbounds for the first down. Marables in the backfield. Call goes to the end zone, and the catch is made. Cameron Brown, he's got it for the touchdown. What a grab. The backup comes in number five. See if he's loose. They go right at him first play, aggressive play calling, and reward it with the touchdown. What a throw, too, by Grayson McCall. Yeah, here you go with Georgia State. I mean, they're just trying to make something happen, but you know, could you get the ball at your own 25 yard line to start? I mean, they're giving you the ball at the 25. And third and 14. Brown. He loses the ball, and he gets back on top of it. But at his own 14-yard line where Georgia State will punt, and this clock cannot run fast enough right now for the Panthers. All security. He's taking off to run, and a great job just reaching back and getting a hand on the football. A little bit early, 2.02 to go, and the junior is in the game for the first time today, and there's the option. Gets it out to Marable. He's got White blocking in front. We've seen it before. We see it again. Marable down the sideline. One guy to beat. And he's finally pushed out of bounds and saving what would have been a touchdown was Quavian White. Tell him, don't look to cut back. You have to get outside. You have to get outside. You have to get outside, then turn on the Jets. That is a stretch option. Goes to Kansas and gets a victory. Pretty good. White. Now taken down in the backfield. No gain on that play. Here from Center Park Stadium in Atlanta. This is a 25-yard field goal attempt, a 24-yarder for Massimo Biscardi. And he hits it. And it's 51 to nothing, Coastal Carolina. Peyton on the keeper. Oh, and he loses the football. And let's see who got it back. Let's see if they did recover. No, Georgia State has it. And recovered by Jordan Venzial. Might have been laughing. Watch his lead blocker just stumble. <laughs> There's nobody to block. Ball comes out, and Venzial, good job making the recovery. It's Keon Carter that ripped it out, 35. And he hands it off to Pinson. Hayden Pinson 
And into Georgia State territory for a first down the 43-yard line. What a hard runner. He won to nothing. And they're going to go to 6 and 0. Oh. They're getting ready to go bowling. That's right. That makes them bowl eligible. Bowl eligible. Yep, man, they got their defensive coordinator, Chad Staggs. And why not? It's a shutout. What a job that this group has done. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.